When we first saw him scream like a child, we're like, Kevin, have you lost your mind? <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. He thinks there's blanket monsters. He sleeps in bed with us sometimes. And if he feels like our hand or foot move under the blanket, he'll start barking at it. He is very dramatic. And when he wants something, he's this tiny little thing barking nonstop. We don't know why he started doing that. But when we brought him home, he never barked or anything. I already had dogs and I wasn't really looking to have another, but I would go to animal shelters and pet stores just to hold the puppies and like get my puppy fix. So it was just supposed to be another day like that. But whenever I held Kevin, I kind of became obsessed with him. He was just so different than any other chihuahua. He's absolutely lazy, chill, loving, affectionate. So I was in the parking lot the next morning before they opened to get him. <laughs> I was a little worried because I didn't know how my bloodhound would react to a brand new puppy. June is such a high strung, anxious, scared dog. But thankfully, it went really good. They went to each other and sniffed, and from there, they were really close and playful. June had never been around another tiny dog like that, and she knew that she had to be fragile with him. You can tell his mere presence makes her less anxious. That's why we call Kevin her emotional support dog. He will go up to her and love on her, give her kisses. She changed for the better because of Kevin. I smile countless times a day because I just look over and there he is. Hi, buddy. Whether it's barking and howling or cuddling, sleeping next to each other. People laugh when they see this little chunky thing. He just brings complete happiness. I can't imagine life without him. <laughs>